All right, so we are going to make masks today. So the first thing that we really kind of need to prepare our space is making sure that we have our, all of our plaster cloth, which is the plaster that is on the mesh cloth, um, cut into strips. There should also be some tinier ones for small items, like when we go around our eyes, if you're going top half, or if you're going bottom half, going in between your nostrils. So to make this plaster cloth work, you kind of need to activate it by dipping it into warm water. So make sure that you have a cup of warm water ready. And you'll also need some Vaseline to wipe on your face. This is to make sure that the plaster comes off after you are done applying it without taking little hairs or, you know, skin with it. So first things first, um, if you have any long hair or um, earrings or anything that could be in the way, you need to take everything out or put your hair up. So real quick, getting everything out of the way. You might also need things like a headband to really kind of push all the hairs back. Get everything out of the way. And then depending on if you are doing the top half of your face or the bottom half of the face, you or your buddy can get a little glob and apply it to your face. So you're just gonna get a little bit and make sure, what should I do, top half, bottom half? We'll do bottom half. You're applying on the edges of your face to make sure that it doesn't get stuck. And then for the bottom half of your face, when we do Vaseline, um, we're only gonna probably go up to close to our eyelids. So just make sure that you get the Vaseline here because that part does hurt quite a bit when you peel. And I'm gonna have to do all the talking now because I'm gonna go over my face and I won't be able to talk for about 10 minutes. So depending on how long it takes to dry. The last thing that you need to get is either paper towel or a rag. This isn't to wipe your hands with Vaseline. It is to kind of dab your fingers off as you're applying the plaster to the face. So the partner will need to be doing this uh, because it does drip and it'll drip down to your shirt. So it gets kind of gross. Um, the Vaseline will feel pretty gross on your face. It'll make your hair feel greasy. So sorry for that. So first things first, um, I'm going to work um, on my bottom half, like I just said, but I'm gonna work on my nose and kind of get the frame around my face first, um, covering my mouth almost last because then I can have it kind of to breathe out of if I need to, as well as my nose. But um, just to make sure that I'm not moving my mouth at all, it's going to be pretty much trying to stay as still as possible. So, cause this will harden to your face. The first couple minutes, it's going to feel squishy and wet, and then it'll start to kind of form and harden around your face. At that point, you need to make sure that you're being very still because it can start to kind of break the structure. Okay, I honestly forgot to get a scissors, so that's what I just went to do. So last thing, scissors, just in case you need to cut any little strips. Uh, once these are wet, they do fold pretty easily, but I would just suggest that if you need anything cut to use the scissors before you get it wet. So I'm just gonna cut a couple of smaller strips for in between my nostrils <clears throat> so that it just fits a little bit better. I don't have to worry about it too much. So I'm just cutting like 10 strips just to make sure and I'm cutting them pretty thin because I can still fold them if I need to fold. But it's good to have. If you're working around your eyes, you're gonna probably need a couple of thin strips to work in this spot too. Um, and if you are working around your eyes, just make sure that you're not getting too close to the lid. You wanna kind of stay up around the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I guess. Here we go. So I'm dipping my plaster in the water, letting it soak a little bit and drip off. Then what I like to do 
is kind of smooth some of this off. And this um, little cup of water is just sitting on my rag. Okay, once you apply, <laughs> once you apply it to your face, you're going to smooth it down to the structure of your face. So kind of follow the shape of your face. So it looks like I'm getting, uh, you know, spa facial. So I'm gonna try and shape it to my nose. This is really weird looking into my phone and doing this. And then I'm dipping it in the water, squeezing some of that off, and I'm gonna continue to work around my face. At this point, I'm gonna be pretty much not talking and just doing. fancy. Yuck. Okay, so inside of my mask, I, I understand that there's a, a little designer on my face yet that I'm going to have to clean up in a little bit. But when you are taking this off, um, you have to be really gentle because these edges are very fragile. And so when you're taking it off, my first suggestion is that when it's on your face, you smile. So squeezing your face and then opening it up. So like smile and then like surprised face and keep doing that until it kind of loosens it up. So when you do those different types of facial features, it stretches all the muscles out so it kind of peels away. After you have that done, you're gonna start rocking it back and forth. So pull up, pull back, pull up, pull back. So if you keep rocking it like this, it starts to pull. The only problem is when you get to this point, these are the little hairs on your face that start to kind of pull with it. So just make sure that you're really putting a lot of Vaseline down there, because even for me, I just, even though I put a lot of Vaseline, it still kind of pulled. So this will get the shape of your face and now it's fitted to my face. The only little touch-ups that I want to do are my nose holes because they're not symmetrical, they don't look perfect, but I'm going to try my best to fix it up a little bit. Also, the bottom here I might trim because all of this part is pretty solid, but then this part it's a little bit loose. So I might just trim up some of these little pieces later just by cutting with the scissors. So all I would have to do is trim that little piece off if I wanted to, which I just did. So, um, so with this, it has to be on your face about 10, 15 minutes to really harden. Um, the longer it's on there, the better. So keep it on enough 10, 15 minutes to harden and then I'll let you know when the timer is up that you can take it off. 
We'll probably do that more in the classroom because I have a couple mirrors that you can do in front of. But um, that is a, a thing that you will do on your own, not your partner, because you know how sensitive you are with your skin. So this is my completed face. Once it's completed, I'm just gonna take a Sharpie or pencil, probably pencil would work best. And right here, lightly writing, I'm just gonna write my name. You can write just your last name if you want. You can't really see it too well, but it also pulls off all my makeup. So this is going to dry just like this on the tabletop. All right, good luck tomorrow.